How do we find someone we know in a crowded room? How do we perceive objects? What is attention? That's the $64,000 question. That's a number of different selective mechanisms that we use to focus in on things that interest us and to exclude irrelevant distractions. Cognitive psychologist Ann Treisman focuses on our brain's seemingly effortless ability to sort and make sense of our visual world. I was thinking in general about mechanisms of attention, and so I started doing some work on vision. At that time, people were studying patients with brain injuries, so you could lose the ability to, for example, see color without losing the ability to see in black and white. That suggested that there might be um, specialized mechanisms for dealing with different aspects of perception. Treisman argues that individual features can be recognized automatically with little mental effort, but integrating these requires us to focus attention on each in turn. If this is prevented, we may bind the wrong features and see illusory recombinations. People call it the binding problem. How do we relate in the brain things that have been separately process separately registered into the correct combinations. We do have a limit to how much we can take in at any one time, and there's strong interference when we try and do too many things at once. And so uh, we've evolved a very effective way of selecting from all the things around us. Treisman also developed the experimental methods that continue to be at the core of visual research. I'm just fascinated by how our conscious experience gets linked to you know, neurons in the brain. <laughs> how on earth you get this transformation, and nobody knows the answer to that. 